keep watching, keep commenting. And we're gonna start. All right, so we're gonna paint this up. Like I said, this, well, this is sort of my filler because wait till you see what I put in here. Cute, not flowers. But I need, I need fill for it to make it stand out. You're welcome, Paula. So make sure you message me. All right, so this, like I said, I, it's grody. It's plastic. We're gonna pull this plastic out of here. We're gonna make it look like, no, I should have taken a picture of it. Anybody wanna take a screenshot and send it to me? I didn't take a picture of it before. Right, and if you have these with that plastic in, um, it's usually held in by strings. I'm gonna try and get it out of here without all that dirt falling out. Now, I will normally, um, Grace, thank you. I see you send me my picture. <laughs> I've got to get a screenshot. It's so hard to go back during the video. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate it. Like I said, there's going to be more giveaways in this. There's going to be more napkin bundles given away. So keep on, keep on watching. We gave two already. All right. So I've got to try and get this plastic out of here. Well, that's not very pretty in there either. Um, normally I would probably um, paint the inside. We're going to just paint the outside for now. I just don't want all that dirt falling out. I'm gonna make sure these strings are not hanging out out here. So that's that's how they put together these plastic. I don't think it really matters that much if it is, but just pull these strings. Can't we get to that one? We're just going to cut the rest of them. All right, Mary. I'm glad you can't wait. It, I, like I said, this is, I'm a newbie doing this. I have never Mod Podge on something wicker like this. I have seen other people do it. I hope it turns out. Um, yeah, I saw somebody, it was, I think it was on Pinterest last week or something like that. And I thought, okay, I'm going to try it. So... We're gonna we're gonna try and make this go. So we're gonna just start off with white paint. Thanks, Cassandra. I like my cap too. And I'm just using I'm using Americana Deco Art. Any any paint that will match with your napkins, uh, go ahead and use that. It's gonna take a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna try. Let me just try. Let's try a brush. I'm also gonna paint up on here, but I don't think I'm gonna put the napkin all the way to the top. And I don't think it has to be a perfect coverage either. <laughs> Some of these are broke that they, that they move around on me. So you know it's well loved and worn and was sitting outside for many, many summers. We're gonna try and make it pretty. You know, and you can get, I, I did stop at a Dollar Tree. They didn't have any wicker baskets. You could get any wicker baskets to try and do this on. Stop at Goodwill, any kind of thrift store to get them. I don't know if they necessarily, this is tight woven, which I, I think I really wanted tight woven because I didn't know how wider we would work. So we how we do that. Kim, yes, I love that napkin too. <laughs> There's another one that's moved over. That's all right. That one's staying where it is. I think. No, there we go. So this is just, I'm sure was just, it probably had a plant in it when I got it. I don't know if it was a gift, but it's seen its better days. We're gonna make it bright then. 
I said, you definitely could use some of those darker napkins, but I decided bright. Hello, Brenda. Even just painting it makes, it just makes a big difference on it, especially when you got that on the bottom. Now I'm not gonna paint the bottom. Again, just to save a little bit of time. It's soaking up a lot of paint though. I want to make sure I'm getting this top. I'm also going to do just that inside edge there, I think. Again, normally I would probably do the whole, I do the inside also, but just for sake of this live, we're only going to do the outside. Thing. I'm glad you love the napkins, yes. So many people like using napkins on things. So yeah, I thought that would be a good giveaway for today. And I said, I give napkins for most of my Happy Meals. Sometimes I surprise people with a little something different. Um, but I usually do napkin bundles for that. I will put some in my Etsy shop of these that I got today with a few added to them. It was my basket. Did you hear that? A bird just hit a window. Um, it was a basket. It was out in my garage. I think it was outside um, probably several times, several years, probably just with a potted plant in it because it had the plastic in it. So you know those work good so you don't have to water it every day. Come back over it, just trying to get most everywhere. And again, I don't think it has to be perfect. Um, showing that variation through the napkin really um, probably would look pretty nice. We're also gonna age it just a little bit. When I'm done. So, okay, and I'm just gonna do this inside edge just so that I know I'm getting that top because we're gonna do a little painting on that top too. I am getting full of it here. Thank you for passing me on, Kim, I appreciate it. If you were watching me earlier, I said, I wish you could have smelling on videos. <laughs> I, well, maybe not, because everybody would have left, seriously, because as soon as you went outside at that place, um, I don't know, if you're in places where you don't have farms, but around here, we do, and um, the, and I, I, I'm guessing, and this is only my, my layman terms, is that it used to be when cows went to the bathroom, they'd have these old manure spreaders and they'd go spread in the fields right away, okay? And I mean, that was all the time, so be it. Well, for last, I mean, for a lot of years now, now they do liquid manure, so that means they go to the bathroom, they put it all in this huge monster pit, it all gets liquefied, it gets, <laughs> so isn't this a disgusting conversation? And then gets spread on the field, and when it gets that liquefied and they break open that pit that, the the smell is unbelievable and right across the road from where this place was they sprayed that field with it so it was like even in the place they were smelling it so that would be a place that you would not have your windows open at this time of year so that's my story you have that basket it, it, it is an oldie all right so and you can tell i am full of paint. That's all the painting we're going to do with the white. Let's just dry it up. So I get a little of this off my hand. I 
I'll bet you they do that in a lot of places, Paula. Um, I mean, I know it's very common and normal. And we even get it here. We, um, at our house, I mean, we're in a little rural community, a little, well, a little village, but, but just on the edge of a, you know, it's all rural and farmer and everything around us. So we do get that at, at certain times here too, where you open up your windows at night or something when it's cooler. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> close them back up. But it's a necessity. Farmers are a necessity. You remember those smells? They are. Like I said, farming is a necessity. And I just remember the old time when they didn't let it get right before you did it. All right, I'll just put that over there. Okay, now we're going to dry it up. Can y'all hear me okay? Now that I thought about it, I don't have my microphone on. Are you able to hear me okay? Thank you, Michelle. It's probably distance, aren't I? Oh, hog barns. I remember them too. We used to have pigs. Can I tell you, I, when I was younger, my parents were working, friends would come over and neighbors. I lived out in the country and we had some pigs. We lived in the country and my parents never knew this until probably years ago when, when I told them about it. Our neighbors used to come over and um, we go out in the yard and ride pigs. <laughs> you have to be thankful for farmers. Exactly, Amy. Okay, I'm glad you can hear me. So we gotta get this dried up really well. Did he, Brenda? Pigs can be very sweet, <laughs> but I mean, as they get bigger, uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. Yes, fresh country air, exactly, Sherry. Hello, Claudia. I honestly just use Deco Art White. You can use apple barrel, you can use whatever you have. And this is an old wicker basket, you can tell from the bottom. It's very old. It's been very used and loved. Um, we're going to try decoupaging on it. I've seen other people do it, I've never done it. So we're trying it. I'm a newbie at this. I bet a lot of people have pigs on their farms, right, when you had a farm? <laughs> when you live in the rural areas, yeah, you know somebody. Okay, some people are freezing, it looks like. Is that, I'm sorry if it is. Okay, as soon as I'm done drying this, we're going to give away another napkin bundle. Get commenting, get commenting. Oh, good thing I cleaned myself up. Thank you, Kim. I think I'm breathing a new life into it. We'll see when I'm done. <laughs> the smell of money. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yep, FFA, -F 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 right? Did you say FHA? FFA, -F -F right? It's FFA -F for Future Farmers of America. Or FHA, wasn't that a few <coughs> makers? Uh oh. Cash, no. See, isn't it fun to have those animals growing up? All right, I think I'm dry enough. We're going to put the napkin on first, and then we're going to add a little extra paint, I think. Donna wants a pack. All right, here we go. I hope you were commenting. I won't go back too far. Kim Downs, message, private message me your address. I'll get you happy mail. You'll get a pack of napkins. 
Okay, let's do the, we're gonna get this napkin ready and I think we have to do it, oh. So you can tell again it was well loved because dirt is falling out of my pot. I'll be doing another napkin bundle, yeah. I'll do another one and I'll do one at the end, all right? So that'll be two, three, four, five napkin bundles I'm giving away on this. You gotta stick on, you gotta stick on, you gotta be on and commenting. Great. Let's get, start getting, okay. And I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this in half because I don't think it'll fit all the way around. I've never done it. We'll find out. Okay, and this is probably, I'm guessing, a three-ply. I remembered my tape so I can separate the napkin well. I have to look at how many ply this is. they're all the same ply. Let's see. It's covered. Oh. It's covered. Oh. All right, I'm just checking my ply. Well, let me just try. There's another ply. There it is. It's a three ply. If you haven't used scotch tape before, it works amazing. Okay. There's our napkin. I know you can save those other pieces. I save so much stuff. That's why I'm not saving it. Okay, and we're gonna do this. I wanna see if I can cut it in half. All right, I am gonna cut it in half right away. Sonia, that is hard when your internet is bad. Remember the days when we didn't have it too? Ugh. Okay, so when I put it on, this is gonna be a top and I'm gonna use this as a top over here. And I wanna leave that top. I'm gonna leave that. All right, are we ready? We're gonna just start at one point and go around. We'll see how we do. I don't know if I use a brush. We'll try a brush. We'll try a brush, I don't know. We're just gonna do parts at a time. You wanna make sure you get it all over too. I'm just gonna do parts of it. See how it goes. Let's put our tape on that one. Let's start it right on the edge here. And take this brush also. I don't know how far I have to go. We'll see. And then we'll do the next next layer. Actually, it's turning out really pretty. Okay, did I go all the way to the bottom? I hope I did all the way to the bottom because I need that, yes. Isn't that turning out pretty? And actually, that's showing texture to it. Flip this back, see how far. Okay, flip it back and we're gonna do some more. It's gonna be really pretty and I said, no, we're gonna add a little design, a little jute to this. Um, and buttons and then wait till you see what I'm gonna add to the topper. 
I think it's gonna be cute. And it's not flowers. That's just a hint. It's not flowers. Over. I'm gonna make sure it's sort of straight. I'm gonna stay underneath that lip thing. I'm gonna have wrinkles, but I don't think you can help it on something like this. Okay, make sure to get it down in there. To try this for sure right right Mar right margaret yeah um i just think you know what <laughs> it was an old pot that i wasn't going to use anyhow if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i think it's really pretty we're gonna end up taking that bottom off actually can go almost all the way around with this too it's not going to so we will have wrinkles um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I probably could get away without most of them if I would take more of my time. Um, but I'm okay with it because we're actually going to age it a little bit anyhow. So I'm okay with wrinkles, except there. <laughs> oh, we don't have a choice in that. Yeah, I don't think you'll notice that much of the wrinkles. And the only, I probably could get away without it if I would have just taken my time a little more. But no, you really, but I wanna make sure that this napkin stays below that edge. So that's where I'm getting them. You're not gonna notice it. I'm telling you. Yeah, I think it does give the texture too when you add the wrinkles to it. I can feel I'm getting Mod Podge on my fingers too from the inside. All right, we're almost done. I'm gonna just put some under this piece as I'm dripping it on my table. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the next piece. Pretty, it's gonna be pretty. And this one's gonna overlap a little bit because it ended up crooked here because of how the pot is shaped. It'll overlap. I'm gonna put that right up on top of it. And I'm going to use the top of the napkin again. Put on. Uh oh. I will dry this up and I'm going to add. Mod Podge on top of here too. You would love to win some of these napkins. All right, keep on commenting. Stick on, like I said, there's gonna be two more yet. I already gave away three bundles. So, okay, let's flip that back and now I'm gonna finish this off. And then we'll dry it up and I'm gonna put a layer over. I don't always put a layer of Mod Podge on top of things I do. Um, just cut it up a little bit. I 
wasn't sure if I wanted to use one of these brushes or what I wanted to do, but it actually worked really well with it. So, okay, now I'm just going to bend, you know, try and bend this under. Try to sand that piece off after. Well, Amy, stick on. I will, like I said, I will be putting um, in my Etsy shop. I don't know if that I'll get them out there today. A bundle with one of each of these, and then added some to it. Okay. All right, let's dry this up, and then I'm gonna do another layer of Mod Podge over it. Isn't that pretty? After we'll cut, we'll cut when we're done. <gasps> Got a bada, bodabra. I'm terrible with bowls. I do the refab kind. Thank you, Marjorie, for passing me on. Who is the second winner? Uh, Mary. Hmm. Trying to think, Mary. I don't know I called. I actually called three already, right? I think I called three already. I don't remember. If you were on, you better re you gotta you gotta message me. You made sure to put the napkin through stars in the basket gently. Oh, um, okay. Somebody was giving me a hint here. When I put the final coat on, I made sure to push napkins up through slats of basket gently. Good idea. Thank you. You said I'm new at this. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, it's starting, it, it's, it's fitting in there. So no, that's, I appreciate that. I see one little tear in the one spot. Well, I'm glad you got me live. Thank you for passing me on, Sherilyn. Thanks, Kim. I love how that turned out. I love how you did it. I did that on a live, was it Monday? I think I did it on live on Monday. Um, somebody else, there's some stars out there. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That helps pay offset some of the postage costs and stuff. So I appreciate when you do that. It's never expected though. I, I'll do it no matter what. I'm still giving out Happy Meal. You're gonna watch the Etsy shop? Okay. Okay, I think it's pretty dry. I want to cut this part off now. If you had sand, a sanding block by you, you could do that. I don't have mine by me. Oops. Cut that off on this bottom part. Do one more coat and then we're going to do a little more paint and a little decorating. All right, I am I'm missing comments. I am so sorry. Okay, so you're saying gently push in the slats for the second coat. I want to make sure I have this bottom down too. Make sure these top edges are down good. <laughs> no, I'm not doing pumpkin stuff yet. I can tell you, I might start it next week, though. Honestly, fall is my 
favorite time. I know I love Christmas. I mean, I'll do some Christmas in July and stuff next month. I love fall. I, I really do. So I might start some fall stuff. And honestly, I can tell you the reason why crafters are starting that already is first place is when you go into a Hobby Lobby, they've got all that stuff out already. And if you don't start getting that now, you're not going to get it. So crafters are showing you it now so that you have time to go and get it before it's all gone too. So that's why some start early. Plus some start early because they may be selling it. Um, so they have to start getting their supplies together because it's, it's already getting late for starting your fall stuff. You know, a lot of people have it done already, especially if you go into shows. I want to try and do a live sale for all my stuff because I, if, the other day with you were on my live, I was showing you, I think when I was hanging that banner up and I was telling you how much stuff is on my, the bottom down here, I didn't realize you could actually see that stuff down there. Um, but you could. And I had said, it's so embarrassing what I got down here because it's, it's all one of a kind stuff that I've done on lives. And I think I'm probably going to do a live sale. I don't know. I mean, I can put some stuff in my Etsy shop, but that's time consuming too. So maybe I'll do a live sale. What do you think of that? The little bird is my favorite napkin. Oh, is that the one with the squirrel and the bird? Is that what you're... Hi, Patricia. How are you? So, Patricia, I see um, if you want to drop your page. Anybody else? Crafters, go drop your page links. I know Patricia has one. Two, two girls in a paintbrush. I'm terrible at names. I really, really am. All right, this is where one of the edges were, so I want to make sure I get that down good. I'm almost all the way around. Should I do a live sale, Marcella? Michelle, okay. Well, I'm, I'm so nervous about doing them. And honestly, I mean, I know I price my stuff for my Etsy shop, but I have to investigate how, to, how do you do it? I mean, if, if you see the, the first one who says this, I know from experience and even like when I do, um, when Shannon and I do our um, mystery hostess parties and we do the trivia, how things are delayed, um, you know, for some people. So I, I mean, I have to figure that out. I don't want people getting mad because they had the bid you know, unless I do highest bid or something, but I don't know that I'd like the idea of doing that. Maybe I'll do a highest bid and give a donation to, um, like Children's Hospital, St. Jude's. You know, maybe I'll do that because they're near and dear to us. I mean, I just appreciate what they have accomplished. Um, all right. I thought I had, I didn't. It's good when napkins tear in the weaving. Okay, good to know. <laughs> because it has torn in some places. Not completely. Should I be tearing it more? All right, we're just going to dry this up. I'm going to add a little bit of aging and some, just a little, but and some paint color. Um, along this top edge and then we're going to decorate it up. Not too much decoration, but we're just going to add a little bit. Are you commenting yet? Are you looking for uh, another happy mail of a napkin bundle? And I'm not chasing you down. I, you got to be messaging me when I call your name. So I don't know what I'm going to, I'm going to do another drawing. Yeah, Michelle's page is right there. Golden Creations. You took your fingernail? <gasps> At the weave. Really? Okay. I'm learning this. 
That's awesome. So you want to be able to see those breaks in it. So the breaks are good or the tears. It is Kathy, it's perfect weight. He said, it was a nasty old basket that's seen in very many days outside. Next, we are adding jute. Well, no, we're gonna add a little paint to it. We're gonna add a little bit of pink, a little bit of green to pull out those colors that are in here. And add just a little bit to it. And that's just you know, along that top edge. We're gonna add some jute to it. We're gonna add a button or two to it. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in the pot. Um, and it's fun. Oh, you know what? I never thought of it. Yeah, but then you would see that bottom. Um, no, I, you can either, what I'm doing, you can either do on top or on the bottom, I guess. I've got a plan to do the inside the pot, so. Okay, I'm going to go here a second. Okay, Sandra, is Sandra going to Oh, Sandra. Okay, it's like, it's like you're needing prayers again, Sandy. Um, sending you prayers. I'll see what, I'll go back and catch messages, uh, catch these after. Um, but I see that people are sending you prayers. Thank you for supporting each other on here. It's a napkin, Carla. It's a napkin on an old, old basket. See, I don't want to burn it. That's why I'm moving it so much. Yeah, Janet, and I've never thought of this until I've seen recently of people doing it. So I thought I've got to give it a try. Some of it is a little thicker in places. I just want to make sure it's really dry because somebody on here is telling me um, that I need to make those holes all short. So yeah, if you're coming on late, um, I showed a bunch of napkins that I got earlier today at a, um, at a store, probably about a half hour from me, that I like going to twice a year. And I did a live tour in there this morning. So, and I picked up a bunch of napkins from there and I'm doing napkin bundles with them, but I'm giving away some of those napkin bundles on here. The rest will be in my Etsy shop. Oh, I'll bet you, Vicki. So did you guys see last year when I did a, I had gotten a, a huge wicker basket from Goodwill and I repurposed it into a pumpkin. Favorite, favorite, favorite thing I think I ever did. I'll be bringing out again this year. Um, it, it, it was like my favorite thing. Okay, so you're saying I should push against, you know, it's actually sort of stiff in there. All right. So you're saying tears are good. See, this isn't a, um, this is sort of a tight weave, but oh, I see what you're saying. So when I'm pressing here, let me just do some. So I'm pressing in between the weaves where I can see them. And making some holes in here. That actually, I see it now. I see it, I'll show you. You see more of that weave then. I'm getting it. All right, let me just show you. See if you can see it. See where I've been doing it? Does that make a big difference? All right, let me just go through. I'm just gonna go through real fast. This won't take long. You have fingernails if you don't have fingernails you know maybe i don't know a fingernail file a popsicle stick would work awesome for this you have a popsicle stick a, a butter knife so if you don't have fingernails you know do that 
Yes, I decoupaged the napkin right on here. The wicker basket looked like that. And I mean, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Um, I painted the basket first and then decoupaged it on here. So now, because I, and I'm sorry that I'm not catching who is telling me that. I think there was a Vicky on here that had told me that when she did things. So um, somebody did comment, and if it was Vicky, I don't know for sure, but um, said about pressing in on all these weaves. Now this basket was really in bad condition. So some of the weaves, you can see some of the weaves are real close together here, that there's not much weave in between but that sort of adds to the character of it. Okay, I do love this of making those stand out. Now I need to get a basket. This was seriously the only basket I could find here. I think I got rid of the rest too. Seriously, the only one. Now I'm gonna have to go to Goodwill and see what else I can find that's woven and do this because I think I'm in love with this process. All right, I just want to finish doing this and then we'll add the jute on, or we'll add a little paint first and then the jute. It is fun, Vicki. Have you been commenting? Make sure those comments are on there so when I do another drawing, you got comments there. You don't comment, you ain't getting a napkin bundle. All right. Or you don't have a chance of getting a napkin bundle, I should say. Okay, I think I'm probably almost through this. Yes, I think I am. Oh, not all the way. I can go through and do this after. I think for fingernails. Like I said, if you don't have fingernails, use a popsicle stick or a butter knife. Okay, that's really pretty. Can you see that? All right, let's add. So. We're gonna add just a little paint to this. Donna Miller, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you happy mail. I'll get you. I'll, I'll get you one of these napkin bundles. All right. There's still gonna be another one yet, so too yet. So just keep on. Okay. So I pulled out a couple colors that I thought do sort of cute with this. So again, this is no different than when I show you the fabric and I pull out colors to match fabric. Um, so this color is uh, Rosy Mauve. It's the Anita's brand Rosy Mauve. And this one is Deco Art Avocado. So those are two colors that I'm not gonna use a lot, but I am gonna just add a little bit of coloring on there. And it's almost, I think, gonna be like a dry brush effect. Yeah, the pressing it really made it. I can't wait to get an actual basket that it, you know, this one was really beat up. I mean, it, it was so bad, but I mean, it's gonna look pretty when it's done, I think. All right, so I've just got a little of that avocado. I'm gonna wipe some of it off on here because I don't want like big amounts. And I'm just gonna put it around in some places on here just to try and blend that together. You don't need a lot. I'll do a little on top here too. Again, if if I was doing this um, for someone or something that you know more people would see, I would do um, I would paint the inside too. Okay, but for this purpose, I'm just doing it like this. All right, I'm getting rid of most of that. I'm gonna dip in the pink now. Hopefully we won't, won't get too blended. 
a pink with it. Just adding that little bit. I love this pink with it. actually going to add extra of the pink because it just looks so pretty. Okay, just add that around just to blend that in a little bit. Now I'm going to create a little bit of a separation between here and that's why I'm gonna use the jute. And the jute will go really good with it because of the brown flowers that are on there. All right, they're, it's almost the color of jute. You want to go to Europe for napkins? Really? I never heard that. Okay. Try that up good because I don't want to get it on the jute. Okay, so just got good old jute here. And like I said, if you look, you see those brown flowers in there? It's, it's going to look really good with that. So I want to see what my favorite side is, and that's going to be the front. I think it's going to be. I think it's gonna be right there. So we're gonna start in the back with this jute. Of course not just napkins. And I'm just gonna put a line This is where I should have my little paddle that I think I got paddles from two different people. Of course I don't. And I'm just running it underneath this top edge and I'm going to do several layers around it. Who's talking pie? I'm gonna hear about the pie. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, I'm gonna burn, like I said, I'm gonna do this several times around. I probably could have just used a thicker jute too. That probably would have been worked better, but. I should have got my big honk and do out my big roll. It's a little bit thicker. This really won't take long. Um, while I got y'all on here, if you don't mind going out to my Pinterest page, not now, not now, but I've been trying to go on there too. And, and, you know, whenever you see any of my, like I've, I've been doing idea pins. So I've got probably, I don't know how many out there for this month. Um, that really helps me if you save them to some of your pages. So I'm crafty servings on there too. So I'd love if you go out and check them out and save some of the page and maybe like or comment on there. So saving on there is like sharing on here. So I appreciate it. And I can't do that all the time on here. I can't do posts all the time on here like that because I know they don't like me sending you other places. So, and I'm not taking away from Facebook. I love Facebook, it's what, what we do here. Thank you, Melissa. I, I, first time seeing you, welcome. I have a lot of newbies on here. 
welcome. All right. So if you're new to my page, I do have usually at the end, but today I've been doing it throughout because it's a, I don't know, it's a, it's, it's a good day. Um, I've been doing drawings throughout, but otherwise at the end, I usually do a random act of kindness drawing. And so I pick somebody's name that was commenting and I have you private message me your address and I send you some happy mail and I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. So it's like a double blessing then. Yeah, I think the jute really adds to this. I think it needs that break between the top. I'm also gonna put just a couple lines of it on the bottom. But yeah, I think that really adds something to it. Like I said, I think I would have normally, um, or if I, I could have done a thicker jute or a rope, like the Dollar Tree rope would have been perfect on this too. You just wouldn't, you wouldn't have to go around as many times. All right. And if I don't get your happy mail out, I probably won't get it out this week, just so you know. Um, I've got some to get out yet from this week, but I usually, usually Mondays are my day to get out. And I know I actually missed somebody on Monday that I have to go back and get. Um, so please, you know, understand. I usually try and do it once a week because I work besides this, I work. So um, usually three days a week I'm working. And then there's some things that come up on my Mondays and Thursdays once in a while too. Waiting patiently to see what I put inside. I hope you like what I put inside, but you know, even if you don't like exactly what I have to put inside of it, it's gonna make you think outside the box, okay? And that's what I'm about. I love doing things that's gonna make you think outside the box. So you don't have to just put a plant in, in here. All right, I think I'm gonna go around one more time Actually, no, I think, I think we're good. We're going to do, we're going to end it right here. And then I'm going to do a couple on the bottom. Don't leave, Lois. Don't leave, don't leave. How long do you have? I'm just going to do a couple rolls on the bottom yet. And then I'm going to add the button, probably two buttons. And then I'll show you. I hope I surprise you. Sometimes I like surprises. I hope I surprise you sometimes. That's it. You can't be the same all the time as everybody else. Sometimes sometimes you are, and you can't help that. I get that. But sometimes you can change it up just a little bit to make it your own. Okay, I love that jute on there. Oh, that one dropped down a little bit there. I have to add a little more. I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna do just I think we're just gonna do two rows down here and I started on the back the same place I did for the one the top one just so that you don't see that edge on the back or you could put something over the edge That was hot. That one I got on my fingers. Is it green? Um, well, 
No, it's not. It should be. I wish it was, but it's not. But no, it'll go with this though. It's not green. Is it bigger than a bread box? Nope. Is it bigger than a bird? Well, it depends what kind of bird. Yup. Thanks, Angie. Oh, I need some glue. Just running to the end and I run out of glue. It, it, it really makes a difference, doesn't it? Coming from that little nasty, bad looking pot that you're seeing <laughs> inside of there. It just makes a difference. It's just a fun way to make some, some changes. I just feel like I have, I've got glue strings all over me here. Okay. Is it a butterfly? No. A butterfly, well, butterflies aren't bigger than birds. Thank you, Susan. There. Cute, cute. All right, so the back is. is right there. So this is the front of it. All right, so the buttons I picked out, you know what, I need a jute bow yet. I need a jute bow. We're gonna add a little little bow hanging down. So, and we're gonna untwist it, I think. Okay, and when I do my bows, I always start down with the string and wrap it around and have the other one end up. You need to untwist this. Does it light up? No. I lit up that pumpkin I was talking about though. You could absolutely put flowers in it, but I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not a, I, I always do. I mean, of course you can do that. I, I'm not a flower arranger. So if I had my big clump of flowers, like I did in that boot that I did, you know, that black boot that I, mod painted and mod podged um and then i just stuck a big clump of green plant in it i could do that this is much easier okay i'm untwisting my jute just to get a little texture on it um just gets a little texture on that bow no to flowers Nope, it's not flowers. Towels that are rolled. Nope, that's a good idea though for in a bathroom. It's a good idea. I might or might not have seen the answer here. Maybe some bath stuff. That would be beautiful, right? Do smaller size, do, do smaller size little wicker pots. By untwisting the jute, if you haven't seen me do that before, it just, it gives almost, you know, like when you have your braids and they're wet and after you take your hair out when it dries, that's what it gives you. It's not gonna be a plant, it's not gonna be a candle. Apples, no, 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 no. Like I said, I may or may not have seen the answer on here. I'm done. You gotta stick on and see? It's almost done here. I just got to do this bow. I got to add the buttons and then I'll show you. I think it's going to be cute. Okay, when you get down towards the end, you probably can get away with pulling it. Otherwise, you can't just pull the whole thing because it'll knot completely up. Okay, so that one. 
This one won't take as much. Birds would be cute. I'm ignoring some people on here. Some people are answering and are not seeing anything. Craft supplies would be cute. They're all my string got tangled up in here. Stuffed animal would be cute. You could go in so many different directions. Oh no, I got a mess going on. You could go in so many different directions with this. I'm gonna get this piece out of here, out of the way. Bathroom basket would be perfect. <laughs> you got that, Patricia, you have to unwrap your jute. I don't do it always. I used to do it on everything, but I haven't for a while. Yeah, we need to do that. But you have to take your time, especially when it's a little bit longer. Sewing basket, I saw, you know what? Wouldn't, that be, wouldn't this be a perfect napkin for a sewing basket? Doesn't that remind you of those tapestry baskets that you buy? Napkins, napkins is a good idea. Donna, they are easy. Y'all have really good ideas of what you would do with something like this. Okay, almost done. Kitchen items, great. Some have guessed what you're doing. Yeah, some have. There's so many possibilities, you're right. I think those people that guess know too. All right. Now we just put it back together, isn't that foolish? I'll take one more little piece of this so we can tie it. I'm actually gonna separate this just to get one of them. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing and wrap it. So you just wrap it around your hand. Make sure one ends in, up, one ends down. Put it together and you get this cute little bow. Skeins of yarn would be adorable in there. You have great ideas. Oh, I lost my string. Bread would be cute. Something for cash. He, no. <laughs> He'd break it. He'd break it getting at it. Cute. I'm going to cut out these two little short ones. Okay, so this was my front. Let me find my back. That's the back, this is the front. So I'm gonna put it a little bit to the side in the front. Maybe just a little bit over here, because I don't wanna cover all of that. I'm just gonna put it up like that. Trim this a little bit. Easy way to make a bow. Some of you know Mary. <laughs> I've been ignoring you too. <laughs> yeah, Donna, the bowls are so easy like that. So now actually, I'm almost thinking we could have even a bigger <coughs> button. But so I have some of these I had picked up. Oh, that would be a cute one over there too. I had some of these that I picked up um, on Amazon. If you want a link or something, if you do some of the, if you do crafts and you give them away, these are just really cute. They're smaller and bigger in there. They just say handmade with love. I thought putting 
one of them in here would be really, really cute on top of there. Handmade with love. Make sure I put it the right way. Yeah, doesn't unwrapping the jute makes a big difference. It does. It depends what the look you're going for. It's sort of like when you do a raffia bowl. I do raffia bowls where, like, I might tie it together, but I really shred it apart then, like, the bowls to make it fuller. Or sometimes I'll just scrunch it up into a bowl. Um, I call it, like, sort of my messy raffia bowl. And I just scrunch it all up into a ball almost. And then I tie it into a bowl, and you've got such poofy kind of kind of things. All right. Got that. I do, wanna, I do think that we have to cut this down a little. I, I don't want to take away from the pot too much. Okay, so that's sort of the front. That's the front. All right, are you ready? A lot of you have guessed it on here. Quite a few of you did. Several of you at least. Find. I'm trying to find what I did with the... Uh, oh, here. I need filler in here because... You need it to stand up higher when you do something like this. And again, if, even if you don't like what I'm putting in here, think outside the box and find your own thing. And I'm just putting a little newspaper around here. Now, you you could totally use moss also, but I'm not gonna use it just because it's so messy. I don't wanna bring all that mess on here right now. Um, I don't want to bring the mess out, okay? So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use some raffia as a filler too. So that would cover up this. So we need a, we need a base. I said, you definitely can use moss. This raffia look actually really cute. Um, let me just get a little more on the back here. A tree? Nope. No, there's a bunch that guessed it. It's a gnome. But like I said, even if you don't like gnomes, think outside the box. What do you have at your house that you can put in to make it look really, really cute? Look at this guy. So I had this, I had him here probably since last year. Look at him. Wouldn't that be, isn't that cute? Just set him in there. And if you want, you could bring him up a little higher if you want, if you want to see more of his boots. But it's just so easy and cute. Um, like I said, even if you don't like gnomes, you have something that you can put in a pot like this that isn't flowers. A gnome is me, exactly. But a gnome isn't everybody. There's a lot of people that don't like gnomes. I get that. But that's where I'm saying, think outside the box. Find something else that you like that you have. You have all kinds of trinkets around your house that you like that you could probably do this. You could even tip this upside down and put it on top if you finish that bottom part. Um, you could put maybe even like a little um, little tray on the bottom part, have it tipped upside down and set it right on top of that tray with things around. You know, that'd be cute. So I could do that if I put a little, like a little, um, you know, it'd be cute is one of those like little dough bowls too, but you could find like a round one and maybe put some pebbles around and set him in there and have this tipped upside down. That would work perfect too. There's just so many things you can do that doesn't involve a plant and a pot or plant in a basket, this was a basket. So, you know, so find something that you love. It doesn't have to be a gnome, but I think he turned out pretty cute. So you, get out of the way. you can probably see better without my shirt in the way, right? So I think, let me hold him up closer. So I think that's just precious and cute. And are we gonna give another, the final napkin bundle. How many have I given away already? I think I've given four or five away. Hello, Mary. You did catch me live, just, just. So um, let's do one more napkin bundle and make sure if I've already called your name, you gotta be sending 
me a private message because I'm not chasing you down. If you don't send me a private message with your address, I'm not sending you a napkin bundle. All right. So I'm, I'm glad you love it. I just, like I said, it just, and you know what? Even if you didn't do napkins and you paint this, like you could have painted this almost like this teal color or the orange color, paint it up, um, age it a little. And actually I was going to age this, but I think it goes good not aged. I was going to just add a little antiquing wax. Um, 